continuing our video series on uh, building the uh, Burnside DIY kit. Uh, these first two parts are, you know, items that are done ahead of time here in the shop uh, before you pick up your kit. So we went, we've gone through the suspension, how that's done, how the hubs are put on, and now what Tyler's doing is he's going to mount the floorboard. So we're running a bead of sealant around the floor box to make sure that that's sealed from any outside um, moisture. The floorboard sealed with an exterior coating and then it gets that underbelly fabric that you see there. Bore, the floorboard's then laid in place. We'll make sure it's spaced out correctly and then they'll go through um, drilling. Actually, yeah, they're gonna go through drilling the, the floorboard holes into the frame and we use a special, uh, a special um, self-tapping screw that's designed for holding a trailer frame down to a steel frame so um there's quite a few of those i'm not quite certain how many that are going to be in there but a lot of drilling so he's going to run along and drill all these holes and after that's done they'll come back through and put in the the deck screws the flooring screws or not a deck screw but they call them a, a a deck screw of some sort i can't remember the exact term but it's a one quarter by inch and a quarter self-tapping um, bolt or screw that's designed to thread into um, the steel tubing that the frame is made out of Our CNC machine will already pre-drills these holes in the wood um, portion of the floor, but we have to drill them into the frame. So these are the special screws I was telling you about. They work really awesome. Um, a lot of screws go into holding that floor down, so you'll never have to worry about that floor separating from the frame. So now we have the floorboard installed. We're gonna start flat packing everything. So um, we'll wrap the the uh, underbelly material up over the floorboard to help with that. Go back through, looks like this kit uh, here has brakes pre-installed. So the brakes have been installed um, and Tyler's lubing them up right now, making sure there's uh, fresh lithium grease in there making sure everything's spinning freely. The brakes are self-adjusting, so once you're on the road with your kit, um, you won't have to go in and adjust the brakes, which is really great. And now they're utilizing the floor box there for a lot of the small parts um, storage in the kit. So a lot of the screws, cup holders, wiring, um, other small parts, the license plate holder I see there, there's your inlet for your shore power, lots of other electrical connections, maybe switches, things like that. Those are all gonna be packed under the under the flat pack in the floor box. So they've got a pick list that they go off of when they're packaging a kit. And we use those totes there to kind of kit things together before they get flat packed um, on the on the frame there's a light switch I see the wrench for the stabilizer jacks I'm gonna put in some cabinet pieces it looks like looks like the insulation and the surround for the floor box there's wiring pre-cut You see some seals in there. Those are all will all be in the manual. You know where those belong. Um, now they're prepackaging cabinet pieces. So this trailer, I think, had some special cabinetry that we're kitting up. But everything will be you know kitted and flat packed. Um, 
They, they try to use all this padding where they can. So nothing's getting banged up or scratched. A lot of that packing material goes into flat packing the kit. I always feel like the unboxing of the kit is one of the fun parts. You know, you get the kit and you're unboxing all the parts. Kind of like a oversized Ikea package. <laughs> Hopefully our instruction manual is not not uh, as, as confusing as some of the IKEA instruction manuals are. So there he's packing up the rack brackets. So if you do a roof rack, you're gonna get the our little roof rack bracket kit. All the hardware and everything will come with it. And there they've packed everything they can into the floor box. And to put the lid, which will become your tabletop if you're doing an in interior table. There's your PVC sheet for your initial roof skin before the aluminum goes on. So now they're going to flat pack all the materials onto the chassis. Have your safety chains are going to be attached already. Here comes eight eighth inch uh, pre finished birch for ceiling panels. So all of those should be cut and ready to go. There's the rock guard for the front of the trailer, the diamond plate rock guard. If you chose black, you'll get a black powder coated one like you were like in that uh, video part of the video there. And here come the sidewalls. So you can see they're already CNC'd. We've done the sidewall prep. Um, all the the holes should be pre-drilled. So now we're gonna put that down on the floor on the uh, floorboard of the trailer, and start with all the body parts. So when you're ready to build, you're gonna secure your um, sidewalls, and then bulkheads will go in, countertop will go in. You can see there's already like a pre-drilled hole there for the power port. Here come the skins. So this is a polycore material that we use in the kits. You get a choice between white or silver. This one I believe is white. It has the vinyl protection um, on it. So you'll peel that off as you're building. We've already taken care of, you know, cutting the material out on the CNC machine, so there's no routing to do, there's no, you know, you're not gonna have messy aluminum shavings all over your garage or shop while you're building the trailer. This looks like ceiling spars are going uh, on the flat pack now. Those should be all prepped and ready to go. We use, um, some special ones for the flat portion of the roof that have a little bit of an arch to them uh, just to keep the roof panel you know nice and taut so that there isn't uh, um, so there's kind of an arch to it to help with water runoff and stuff like that you can see that's one of the middle section ones there you can see a little bit of an arch to it and now bulkheads looks like bulkheads there countertop could be an upper or lower bulkhead that Jake's putting on the rear of the flat pack there. Here comes the other. That looks like an upper because it's got a hole in it for an electrical outlet. And now the cabinetry is bundled up and pre-cut for you. That's all going on the flat pack now.
There's roof rack parts, so if you've ordered a roof rack, that comes uh, flat pack too. Then we've got the fenders. There's your rear panel. That tubing holds all the molding. We're sending you, I think, some long 16 foot pieces. There's the parts that go into building the rear door opening of the trailer, all cut on the CNC, all ready to go. Uh, this this particular kit customer ordered um, stainless steel countertops, so that's being, being pre-packaged. If you didn't order stainless, then uh, you've got to go find your own um, laminate. You know, uh, we do sell some laminate, but we leave it up to the kit customer to work that out. Same with the flooring. It's another uh, skin piece, it looks like. Here's a water system. So this kit customer uh, chose to order one of our 20 gallon water tanks. Uh, it comes all pre-built. It's got the um, pump already mounted in it. You're just running some lines, the electrical, all that fun stuff. Now we're gonna band everything up. And we really like to go overkill on this packaging part of it. Try to band everything up, make sure it's secure so that this thing can travel. Um, this particular kit is gonna go to Nevada. So we wanna make sure that it's gonna be roadworthy for that many miles. We're trying to distribute the weight of everything to make sure that you know it's stable while towing. That big box there is a tongue box, so if you order a tongue box um, through us, we'll band that to the flat pack. And now comes the boat wrap, so we're gonna shrink wrap this whole thing. So we'll go around here, shrink everything down, make sure that it's tight, packaged up, watertight, ready to go. have it so this is all wrapped up nice and tight ready to hit the road ready to go to your garage or shop to be built last step there looks like throwing on the swiveling tongue jack So we'll get the wheels mounted, we'll get them torqued down the spec.
All wrapped up, tires mounted, ready to hit the road. Can't forget the tail lights. Looks like the guys are doing a little extra, a little extra wrapping there to make sure that everything is uh, held together and nice for the long road trip. And here we have our lucky customer here to pick up his kit, haul it home for some fun building. Happy trails.